MS-13, the Latin Kings, the Bloods, the Crips, they all have one thing in common. They all fear the sons of virgins. Meet Thick Man, a retired hitman who's on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in the city, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. The boys and I land at the airport. Look at this shot of me departing the flight. That's some high production quality right there, but don't get used to it. We exit the airport ready for a new chapter. Our first step is finding ourselves a taxi. Yeah, hail this one. Hail this one down. Hey, taxi, taxi. That's not how you hail a taxi in the United States, mate. You've got to be a bit more aggressive. Hey! <laughs> All right, boys, get in. <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances, Swagger Souls died brutally. We proceed to do the mature thing. Drive, drive, drive. Yeah, Just drive. <laughs> drive. We're done, we're done here. So, you guys are not from America? <laughs> No, from London. I ah, think. yes, London. London Bridge is falling down. The All these fing Range Rovers, get the f the road. To Jeez. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure which accent. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go back and get swags as well. We just left him. Oh, for all right. We eventually get all the boys into the taxi and begin making our way towards the hospital. Like the previous modded cities you may have seen me play, Iconic attempts to emulate real life. For example, if you shoot someone, you'll be going straight to jail. The prison has this cool color system where your sentence depends on your ethnicity. Hey, um, could you roll my window up? <laughs> <laughs> we arrive at the hospital, but no one's working, so I decide to step up. I know how to act like a semi-attractive nasty cow, so role-playing as a nurse is easy. Strauber asks me for a psychological analysis. An exercise I like to do with patients is they say things that people in high school used to bully them. So what did, what did you get called? Moon being face. Little, greater being face. A little bit of a, <laughs> you're being a real tired about things, aren't you? <laughs> Ugly prick, mutt. Hey, all right, all right. Ugly all right. dog. All right, hey, can I get some opiates or something? The Fitz proceeds to take a nasty fall down the elevator and then I exit the building. It's here I run into a dear old friend, the big bad Douglas Stone. Said it all I think it is. Thick man, it's been a while. How are you, mate? Good to see ya. Uh, yeah, my friend's just fallen down the escalator and died. Do you reckon he can give us a hand? Yeah, mate, I'm uh, qualified in first state. Oh, of course you are. Thanks, mate. The medical staff eventually arrive, but it seems they've been hitting the pharmaceuticals a little too hard. While we do everything except actually receive medical attention, a gangster rocks up in a blacked out Lamborghini. I decide to steal it as a tasteful little practical joke, but he doesn't find it very amusing. Do it. Don't stomp on it. <laughs> he hits me across the jaw. He then blindsides Swagger and beats him half to death with a baseball bat. He left us no choice. Come on, mate. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. I spend 10 minutes in intensive care. The doctors didn't even take my suit off, which is extremely respectful. I say goodbye to our new friend who definitely wants to kill us. He explicitly said so many times. It was aggressive. We then pile into Douglas's mobile home and head towards the hood. Did you ever see um, Breaking Bad? Oh, yeah. Never. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Breaking Bad. <laughs> we arrive at an anonymous apartment building. As you can see, this obviously isn't a gated community, but this suburb has a certain charm about it. You might catch a bullet, you might catch Hep B. The only thing you won't catch is someone coming home from an honest day's work. I proceed to meet with the real estate agent. Oh, my business has been good. It's been booming, you know, the market here. Wow, well, this it's going up. these apartments that you've got lined up for us look pretty damn tasty. <laughs> look at that. Look at this over here. We're getting super kind like, Nice, man. It, it smells like a knock shot, mate. Like a fucking whorehouse at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you ordering there? Uh, are you talking about a prostitute? Yeah, I'm going to get a few... Uh, a few uh, prostitutes down. Get a few girls down. A few crossies. We probably don't want to bring girls back here, which you can actually do. I've been told that people frequently make virtual love in this city, which might be the saddest thing I've ever heard. Pretty hot though. It seems the police are already circling the neighborhood, probably because we have a Breaking Bad meth truck just in the middle of the road, and so I parked the big girl properly to be a good neighbor. Hold up. Oh, oh shit. Hey mate, how are ya? G'day, g'day. Are yeah, good. So is this currently gang territory? Oh, good. And we're obviously not a gang, so you have nothing to worry about. Oh, music to my ears. Exactly. 
It's not like we have a bag of cocaine in our pocket, officer. We're doing nothing illegal. <laughs> uh, violent crimes taking place, so it's more, you know, one of nah, the what? territories that we sort of like to Just got an itchy on. nose. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Oh, it's just those allergies, bro. It's all the pollen from the uh, daffodils downtown. Yeah, it happens, bro. Try you get it too. You get it too. I don't, I don't, I don't care what everyone says. Shit. You guys are all right. So last I saw, you just done a lot of cocaine and chased him through the streets, yelling like surprisingly aggressively. Yeah. Now he's dead on the ground. Oh, he's not dead, is he? He's just having a little bit of a couch nap. He's having a bite. He's... Oh, you can hear him. He's, he's gurgling. Oh. Hey, oh, Swags is back. Hello. Hey, Swags, we showed yourselves in. While the boys unpack their bags, I head outside and witness a drive-by shooting. How could we ever think about taking girls back here and having glorified phone sex with such violence? I run over to check on the roadman and he's bleeding out. I decide to take him to hospital to try and earn some good faith with the local gangs. But sometimes you've got to complete a few side quests before you can kick back at the strippers. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Although later we do go and spend like two hours at a gentleman's club, which is highly dubious content. The roadman seems incredibly grateful for our assistance. As we enter the downtown district, the blue and red police lights reap a cuss off the surrounding buildings, which sets the scene nicely for the hardest boss we've had to fight yet. A 13 year old boy. I'm oh, what's going on? Oh, I don't hey. kick out van. I wanna dance with somebody. We drive a short distance and see that our new 13 year old friend is unconscious in the car park. This gang violence takes no prisoners. The streets run red with the tears of mothers and the blood of children. The only thing that can get this 13 year old thug back on the right track is a 13 year old police officer. What's wrong? What happened? What happened? Are you in pain? Everybody up against the wall. Everybody up against the wall. Hey, can you hear me, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody up against the wall. Yeah, why don't you ask me, ask me for my name? Maybe I'll be polite. Just. I give my life for Pakistan! I pinky promise the officer that we'll be good citizens and we go on our way. We hear that the local strip joint is now open and we've more than earned a break. We arrive, but our young friend is back stabbing everybody. At least we get a taste of what it's like living in the UK. I attempt to kill the child, but he runs towards a smart car. Good on him for caring about the environment, I guess. I steal myself a Mitsubishi Lancer and the chase is on. While the young lad hurls abuse at me as we drive through the streets of Iconic, I question what I'm doing with my life. The cherry on top is that he's blasting what I'm hoping are royalty-free beats through his microphone the entire time. I eventually give up and return to the carnage of many dead sons of virgins. One 13-year-old defeated half our gang, there's room for improvement. I figure while I've got a stolen fast car, I'll take Fitz to hospital. Did I get shot by a 12-year-old? By a I'm not 100% sure, but I chased him for a long time, but he was a cunning little thing. What? That cannot be good for your internal bleeding. If I make a drive better. Would be super ideal if you could. What am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm losing the plot. I've oh no. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is unintentional as well. $2,250 for a respawn. Yeah, I'll just die. You're just done? I'm just gonna lie here for the rest of the series. That sounds good. I'll come in here and check in periodically. Yep. That's is good. You'll be like a character, like the guy who's just outside the reception desk of a hospital. Put, put me in a wheelchair with a bell on it. <laughs> oh man, I just left the hospital bell. <laughs> Come on, let me have fun, man. Boys will be boys. Far out, bro. Five stars. <laughs> Thank you. We return to the Gentleman's Club and I present to you truly one of the most questionable segments I've ever uploaded to YouTube. Also, drop a like if you'd like to see more of this series. Hey mate, how you doing? We want two strippers, please. No well, problem, but uh, it's kind of exclusive right now. It's exclusive? Exclusive? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, um, listen boys, do with me, yeah? Okay, you guys can yeah. follow where you're riding uh, around. Me and they're coming. Aye, thank you. It's yeah. the, the VIP. Oh, I appreciate that. With the dynamic duo. We are. Everyone around us always laughs at all the funny stuff we say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're funny, we're funny guys. Uh, we're not gay. <laughs> we're not. We're not sleeping we're not together. Here. Absolutely. Yeah, we're not yet. So we're straight eyes. Yeah. That's why I'm looking over here at these beautiful women. Hello, gorgeous. Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> you have a very great body. Is Thank there anything so else that's going for you right now? I mean, I've got lots going for me. We could go for a dance and I could tell you all about it. Can you come with me to my dance? I would love to. I thought you'd never ask. Yo, straight up, what are we doing with our lives, Fitz? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to check in on my homie. Sorry, it's just a second hope. No, you're fine. Is everything okay? Oh, oh it's awful. Oh, what's wrong? It's awful. What's... Oh, no. I feel so sad. <laughs> what am I doing here? You're making great oh. life decisions. Hey, man. <laughs> sorry. So sorry. 
<laughs> so, is your friend gonna be okay? Yeah, he's just low on insulin. So I didn't catch your name. Ah, uh, it's Thick Man. Thick Man. Yes. Hey, any of you guys need any food or drink tonight? Uh, is, is there any chance I could get a lap dance? From one of the other girls? Yes, but not from me. That's fair enough. I sit out the front in my new Lancer waiting for the boys boys boys, but they never come. I decide while I wait, I'll reinvent my look as the signature suit should be saved for special occasions. I now look the part. Like a leukemia patient whose last wish was for a Mac and accessories, but they didn't realize he meant the laptop. I drive back to the gentleman's club and bloody Douglas Stone has hired and paid more dancers and I hate being wasteful. I have a really weird kink. Can you guys please give each other an intimate hug? Now that's hot. That is hot. Anything for the boys, you know? That's what I'm saying, all the girls are going out to do it for the boys. Sometimes you just gotta step up. We all pile back into my new Lancer and head off to the mines as it's time these women watchers put in some hard yards and earn some serious cash. They really loved me after I told them I was an autistic, they all thought I was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad those strippers weren't as old as the police officers earlier. Jesus <laughs> oh, Pip, cool. this is perfect for you, you said you came here for the miners. <laughs> <laughs> our first day in the city and i feel we learned a lot but i'm keen for more i hope you all enjoyed this new series i really wanted to relaunch the sons of virgins and this seems like the best way to do it drop a like if you enjoyed i'll do a big red dead 2 video after this check out my mates channels in the description otherwise take care of yourselves i love you